Hey guys, welcome back to Dip Switch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we're going to do something quite a bit different, something a little bit fun. Um, a few weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago, uh, I saw a video on Danish Pete's or Pete Hanore's channel where he basically cracked or checked the lacquer of his gold top. And I've always loved relic guitars, I've always loved relicking guitars, um, and kind of the cracking or checking look on a relic guitar has always been something that I've thought only the professionals can do right um, until I saw Danish Pete do it um, and I just thought why not give that a go so here we have my uh, Gibson Les Paul Jr it's a TV yellow um, but most importantly it has a nitro finish on it uh, nitrocellulose lacquer so this technique only works on nitrocellulose lacquer um, we've got a few things to help us along the way. We have a hairdryer, we have some compressed air, we have this kind of disgusting mixture of uh, old coffee grounds, water and rusty strings. That's pretty disgusting. I don't really know what that's for but we're going to do it exactly the same as Pete did. Um, a cloth, some kitchen towel. So let's get started. Um, hopefully you can see everything on this camera here. Uh, if you can't see it then it's going to be a pretty lame video. But I'm going to try to keep it reasonably subtle I think. We're just going to we're going to kind of cover the whole front I think with checking but not go too overboard. Um, I also want to do a bit on the headstock. Um, I think that looks pretty cool. I've had a look at some pictures of uh, Rock and Roll Rock and Roll Relics um, which is a company making really cool guitars. And they're all relics and he does a lot of Les Paul Jr style things. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple of stickers on here. Preferably, I'd like to keep the stickers on there, but if they kind of get all mangled, then so be it. So basically, this technique involves heating up the lacquer and then rapidly cooling it down with the compressed air. So, I think we may just get started with it. I'm just gonna do this kind of big spot here first. Key, the key trick is to hold the compressed air can upside down when you spray it. That's, for some reason, uh, science, uh, that's how the cold air comes out on here. So let's just give it a go. Um, so hair dryer, heat up a kind of a roughly a hand shaped or hand sized portion of the guitar and then yeah. And then really quickly. All right, uh, I may have not heated it up enough because I didn't think that did much at all. Oh yeah, there's a little bit there, a little bit. That's cool though, I wanted to keep it kind of subtle. As you can see, it really frosts up. Um, that's because you're holding the can upside down. Oh yeah, you can actually see that. That's worked out really nicely actually. It's kind of still got the subtle thing. I didn't want it to be over, over cracked and as you can only really see it in certain lights. Oh, there's a little bit there as well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna keep going. I may do the same spot again actually um, because I've got a feeling that's gonna close up as soon as I heat it up. So um, let's do that again. Yeah, this is looking good. So he, Pete Hanori did it on a gold top, and I think the cracks probably show up a little more on the gold. Um, cracks are a little more subtle on uh, this TV yellow, which, like I said, that's all fine. I'm gonna leave that spot now, I think. I think once we rub in the coffee, it's probably gonna um, show up a bit more, which is cool. See if I can get that in a different light. Oh, hold on. That looks great. Bear in mind that this is not cracking the wood. I think you'd have to be pretty silly to want to crack the wood on the guitar. This is just cracking the lacquer on top. Um, this happens with nitrocellulose when it gets old. Um, basically, this is a shortcut of getting that look. 
Um, so let's move on to somewhere up here. Uh, what am I doing? I'm doing this. Ooh, that was a good one, you can hear it. Let's do round the control knobs. I'm actually gonna take these knobs off just so I can wipe underneath them when I need to. Um, let's do proper near the output jack first and then we'll move a bit higher. I think when I did up here, I probably did a too large area. So I think if you just keep an area around that size, that's probably much better. I really like that sound when you can hear it popping and cracking, that's cool. That only seemed to do one or two cracks. Maybe I'm not heating up enough, maybe I'm not spraying enough ice. Um, Maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe it's just the lacquer's a bit thicker than um, Pete's was. But to be fair, I didn't want to go overboard with it. So it's going well so far, I would say. Um, let's try one more spot. Let's do, let's do here, and then we'll do the headstock, and then we'll rub some of that gunk into it. Well, that seemed to do quite a bit actually. I have to say I'm happy with how it's come out. It's just not as um, obvious as it was on Pete's video. But I suppose every guitar is different. All the paint's different. I have to say it does look great. It, once you catch it in the light. Got this little uh, bowl of old coffee grounds and rusty strings. I don't really know what the rusty strings are for. Um, but maybe it's some sort of activation or something, I don't know. I'm not very scientific. So let's just give it a swill around. Let's dunk in. Oh yeah, that's... So it looks great, as you can see. I'm just gonna rub it in. I'm just gonna rub it in. Oh, hello. Yes. This is making all the difference, I have to say. They instantly are more visible. That's probably enough. Let's leave it for, I don't know, some time. I'll uh, pick up some of these coffee grounds and uh, let's check back in in a bit and I'll wipe it all off. So I've left this for five or ten minutes, um, just so, I don't know why, I don't really know why I'm doing any of this, um, just so, I think just so it kind of soaks in a bit, kind of gets in all the cracks. Um, I've kind of tried to pick up most of the coffee grounds, so I think we're just gonna wipe this off now. The coffee grounds has really brought out the cracks actually. It's if you're thinking about doing that, doing this whole thing, then it, that is an essential step. Um, not only does it bring out the cracks, but it also makes them look old. Um, makes them look a little less artificial. Hopefully you can see that. Like I said, if you can't see that, um, then this is gonna be a pretty boring video, but I will also just uh, include some pictures or some close-up B-roll sort of stuff. I haven't done any on the back. Um, there is, like I said, there is already is some on the back, so I might just leave, leave that how it is. It didn't work at all on the headstock, so whether they use different paint on the headstock, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think that was pretty successful. Let's put the scratch plate back on. Actually shooting on my iPhone right now. Um, the iPhone camera seemed to pick up the cracks a lot more than my other cameras. I don't know why, I'm not very really technical, that sort of stuff, but as you can see here, um, 
the long cracks and then up here on the loads of there. And the coffee really darkened up those cracks nicely. Um, so like I said in the main video, that is a key part to this process. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Thanks for sticking around for the video, guys. Um, hopefully, I added a little something to Pete's video, maybe, or maybe it's just another way of looking at it. Because I think I've had different experiences using the same technique. Um, his kind of immediately came up in tons of crack, cracks all over the place. Mine was a little harder to uh, get some cracks out of, but it does look great. I'm probably gonna do this to a couple other guitars. I just love the look. Um, like I said, I'll attach some photos or some video just so, in case that I didn't quite get it. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around guys and I shall see you in the next video. Please subscribe, cheers.